for the basic use of, of MobiRise, it's free. You're going to see that. So let's get into the demo so you can see. So in order to do that, what we're going to do is we're going to we're going to go to MobiRise. We're going to go to MobiRise.com. And what you're going to do is you're going to download the software. Now when you do that, you're going to have to log into an account and create an account. Now obviously I've already gone through that process, but it's going to ask you for an email address. It's going to send that email, uh, uh, it's going to send you an email where you're going to have to put in a code. I'm going to show you what that email looks like. So as soon as you actually uh, get the software, you sign up for it, I'm going to show you what the email looks like that you're going to get. And it's going to send your, your, your uh, login and password. Right? So, so that's what you're going to have to be looking for. So, so you don't want to create a password or, or look for it or think you created one. Um, it's going to send you what your password's going to be. Right? Okay, so now, uh, once you come back to the site and you log in, here's where you're going to be. So what you're going to have to do is, depending on whether or not you have a Mac or whether or not you have Windows, you're going to go ahead and download the software. Now, if you do buy um, any of the extensions, this is where they're going to be. You're going to add them to this account. So let's go ahead and download this. Now, I've, again, I've already downloaded the software. I'm just going to show you that it's, it's not intimidating or anything like that. And basically what I've already done is, I, for the sake of this video, I've installed it. I'm gonna, un, I've already uninstalled it. I'm going to install it again while we're here. All right, so here is the builder. And we're going to just double-click the ex executable file. It's going to ask to make some changes, and we're going to let it. We're going to click Next. And again, now I've already installed it, so that's why you saw that message. You're not going to see that when you install it for the first time. All right, so I'm installing this on a Windows computer. I'm installing this on a Windows 10 PC. But I think it installs up to Windows 7. It goes as far back as Windows 7. So if you have Windows 7, you should be fine to install MobiRise. Now before that, I'm not sure if it's, if it's going to work if your, your uh, operating system is older than that. Okay, so what it's doing right now is looking at a template that I had already built. And so basically, this is a template that kind of comes with MobiRise. And when you get MobiRise, one of the things you're going to do, you're going to see this. It's going to tell you to click here to start. And basically, I want to show you, uh, show you around the site. This is obviously a desktop application, so we're not on a website right now. This is what your site builder is going to look like. What I'm going to do is I come to that left side, and then I'm going to hover over this area that says Pages. And when I click there, what you're going to notice is that I'm working on this home page. That's the home page that I'm working on right now inside of MobiRise. If I want to create another page to add on to my site, I can click Create New Page, and that's going to be for this site. It's not going to be for any other site. It's going to be for this site, and I can name it. We'll get to that point in here in a minute. If you're going to buy extensions, this is where you buy them. Right? So if I click here, you'll see all the extensions here. Right now, um, what we have here is we have pretty much a in a, a website builder where if I want to change the text, all I've got to do is click inside of this text, and then I can then make changes. So all I'm doing is placing my cursor here, and if I want to write something in here, I can write it in here. If I want to take something out, I'm going to click in here, and I'm just going to change this. Right, if I want to change what kind of title this is, right, maybe I can change this to bold. Or I want to change the kind of title. I want to change this to title one. And so it, maybe it's going to be at that level. Or I want it to be at the second level. Or maybe I just want it to be at the third level. I can change these buttons. So for example, what I have here is it says email us. What I'm going to do is I'm going to click this area that says link. What you'll notice here is that 
um, it has an email address in here, but let's say that what I want to do, I want this to be the web address. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a web address in here. I'm going to have this open in a new window. I'm going to insert the link. And then I'm going to change the name of this to a website and say visit us, right, or something. And then I'm going to change this one. I'm going to click the link. And then I'm going to say instead of phone us, I'm going to say email us. Right? So I'm going to say email us. I'm going to insert the link. I can change the nature of this. Right, so I can change the color of this button. Let's say I want to change this to that color, or I want to uh, I want to change the style. Right, so I want to change the color here. Let's say that I want to change the nature of the button. I don't want it to be rounded. Right, I want it to be. I want those buttons to be square. Let's say that I want the buttons to uh, animate on the scroll. I can do that. Or I can turn that off. So again, I have a lot of latitude over what I want to do with these buttons here in this area. I'm going to close this up right now. Okay, so again, everything is pretty much if I click on something, I can change it. So let's say that I want to click on this icon. I can change it, right? So I've got some other icons here I can work with. So let's say I don't like this mobile device. All right, let's see. I want to change this to something else. Let's say I want to change this to something that's work related or so or city let's say i want to do it something city related let's choose that one and that one's going to appear there now well, I can make sure that that uh, that image links to something, right? So I can link this to, let's say, a site. And again, I have all the same choices here. I'm going to click OK. And you'll notice I've got this image here. So anything I want to change, all I've got to do is click on it. And I can make a change. If I want to click on this, I click on it, I can make a change. I can click on this magnifying glass, right? I can make a change. So I've got some, I got some icons here I can change so. If I want to click this, I can make a change. Okay, does that make sense everybody? So again, very easy. Right, Moby Rides is very easy to use and it's free. Um, so, so some of this you're gonna you're gonna learn by exploring. Some of it you're gonna learn by what I'm watching. I'm really just gonna kind of show you and introduce it to you. Now, one of the things that you're gonna want to be able to do is you're gonna want to be able to make some changes, right? So, so basically, let's take a look at what we call the block parameters, right? The block parameters. Or let's say I want to add a block to this page. So basically I have two blocks on this page, right? And let's say that I want to add in another block here, right? I can add in a block here. And basically I have another area now that I can edit, right? So now I've got this here and the bottom. I can then change the element of this. I can change this to one of those fancy background videos, 
right? So let's say that now what I want to do is I want a video to run in the background of this site. And so what I can do here is I can go and I can get a video, right? So let's, let me, let's go find a video here. Let's just go to YouTube. And let's find a video of, let's see, who's from New England here? Let's do the Portland Headlight. How about that? Let's do Portland Headlight. See if we can find a good Portland Headlight video. Enter fresh service. Well, we don't want to do that. We don't want the commercial. But. Let's go back to Moby Rise here. And we're going to put that video right in there. And there's our Portland headlight. Okay, so we've got that going in the background. So again, I mean, we can change the background color of this, of this block. We can change the background image. Right. Um, what I can do is I can work with again. We got the block parameters. If I click, if I click this button over here, here's what I can do. I can click drag block, if I drag this down, what I can do then is I can drag this one to the bottom. I can come back to this. I can drag one to the top, right? So I've got the ability to move these things around, and basically, it's all drag and drop, literally. So I don't really have to know a lot in order to do that. And basically, I can use the templates that are already here. So everybody, make, does that make sense, everybody? Does everybody got to get this, basically? Some of this you're going to have to get in here and play around and make the site like you want it. Let me kind of show you how to build a page from scratch. So let's say that what you want to do is you want to add in a page. What I'm going to do is I'm going to click Create. I'm going to create a new page here. I'm going to call this page About Us. Right, that's a, that's a page there. Okay, um, and, and they, they, they'll give you the ability to add in some stuff like meta tags and web, website descriptions. So if you want to really get into some of the SEO, I mean, you can do that with this site, right? We're not going to do that here, but we could do that, right? So this, this, the, the name of this page now is going to be About Us, All right? So what do we do with that page? Well, I'm going to go to add a block to this page. So what can I add to this page? Well, they give us some blocks we can add to the page. Here's some article blocks, right? So maybe I want to add in some article blocks. I'm just going to drop that in there. And then maybe I want to have in here uh, a price button, a price page, right? I want to add that in here. And then I want to add in some counters or something, right? Right, so again, now, once I do that, right, I'm going to, I'm just going to click inside of here. The block's going to go away, and so how do I edit it? Remember, all I'm going to do is I'm going to click inside of here in order to edit, right? So, so again, everything is very straightforward in terms of how we work with Moby Rise. And so the point of being able to do this, of course, is that, we know that the site's going to be mobile responsive. And so one of the things I can do at every point is I'm going to click this mobile view so I can see how my site's going to look on somebody's uh, mobile device. Right? Maybe I won't like it, and I can make some changes. Right? I can go back to the desktop view. Right, so basically, I can then make another page. I can create another page. And I can make this my privacy policy or whatever. And I'm going to click this. Right, I'm going to come over here. I'm going to add a block to the page. I'm going to find some article content. 
Right? Maybe what I'll do first is I might put in an article header, and then I might then come and just put in something so my privacy policy will change. Right, does that make sense, everybody? So again, everything is pretty straightforward. When I build a page, all I'm really doing is I'm just adding blocks. When I need to make changes with those blocks, I'm going to click inside of the block and make a change. Right, anything that I see here that I want to change, I can click on it. But right? if I want to get rid of it, I'll just get rid of it. Right, so I'm just going to get rid of that button. If I want to remove a block, maybe I don't like that header, I'll just get rid of it, right? So maybe I want to put another header up there, or I don't want a header on this page. So I, I have a totally customizable site. Now again, to some, to some degree, there's a learning curve for this, but the learning curve is very short, right? It's very easy to work with, and if you just kind of build a site for somebody, and you need to get started quickly, and you need to be able to put up something that's going to look professional. You can do that with this, uh, with this site builder. And let's say now what I want to do, they, let's say what we want to do, once again, we're going to make it fancy, right? We're going we're gonna to put a background video in there, right? So I'm going to put my Portland headlight in there, right? Once again, um, very, you know, very, very easy to do provided, you know, that you kind of get to the learning curve. And, and I'm really showing you all of the, <laughs> everything there is. I know that, you, you know, most things are complicated, but this is not. And everything that uh, is really going to work with this site, you've just about seen it all. So what do we need to do now? We need to be able to, to install this site someplace. And so what we're going to need to do is we're going to need to click Publish. Now, basically, what I'm going to do is I'm going to pick a directory on my hard drive. I'm going to call this MobiRise2. Actually, I'm not, it's not there yet, so I, I need to create it. Let's call this MobiRise2. And then I'm going to pick that as the site that I want to select. And so that's where it's going to publish the site to. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to click Publish. And now this is how it's going to appear in my browser. Right, so okay, so now what am I going to do? Well, I'm going to need to install this to my own site. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this I'm going to put this inside of my web server, my web host. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take all of the files that are concerning that that we just saved to our hard drive. I'm going to, I'm going to put them on my server. So what I need to do is I need to find those files. And I can find those files. And we save those to MobiRise 2. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to change, I'm going to take all of these pages. I'm going to move those to my server. I'm just going to drag and drop them there. And once I do that, then I'm just going to just show you what the site's going to look like. Okay, so the question is, am I importing or exporting these files? Okay, so when I, um, when I was in MobiRise, in order to publish this, I clicked Published. It exported the files to a place on my hard drive because the, what this is is software, right? So I downloaded this software to my personal computer. Right, okay, so then once I got the, once I got the files on my personal computer, in order to get them on my server, then I have to upload them to my server. 
right? So, so, so it's a two-step process. The first, I export them to a folder on my hard drive. Then I go from my hard drive, folder on my hard drive, to my server. Okay, great. So you got it. Okay, so uh, let's take a look. I'm going to put this inside of a server. And I think, let's see, just call this MOB. Right, so there is my, there's my site. Right now, again, I mean, you know, we, we, we were kind of playing around with this. But we've got it, right, basically. And if I click there, it's going to add. Now, what, what I could have done is I really should have, I could have put in links to my other pages. Okay, so Dana's question is, can you work on it from another location as you can with WordPress? I think what you can do, Dana, is, let's see, I think that there is a way to publish to, uh, to Moby Rise, and you can publish to this site. Now, I think you still have to make the changes. I think you still have to make the changes locally. All right, so let's do that. Oh uh, no, okay, so you can't you can't leave it there permanently. It's only for testing. So yeah, so so the answer to your question is you'd have to make the changes locally. Right? So you would not be able to work on this in the cloud. That's right, Dana. All right, good question. Any other questions? Right, so Dana says that's how she's got to do her sites and her older sites in Net, Net Objects Fusion. Yeah, and so I think I think what you're trading off here is you're trading off ease of ease of being able to build a site versus being able to work in a cloud. Right, so so yeah, so so there there's definitely a trade off here, and I guess the trade off is really is is just the not not necessarily is convenience versus ease. Right, convenience versus ease. Okay, any any other questions? Yeah, and so and so um, the the uh, so so Dana's point is what you could do is you could add on to a WordPress you could add a WordPress blog to this. Right, that's a great point because what we could do is let's just kind of I'm gonna I'll, I'll kind of do this here. What we could do is we could just install. So where's my where's my site here? Okay, so let's say that my this was my site. I could install a blog to mob forward slash blog, and I'm going to do part of this off screen. So I'm going to go to my server, and I'm going to go to cPanel. I'm going to do this off screen a little, and we'll just we'll we'll do this. Uh, and I hope that I can remember my password. All right, so what we would do is we would. I think we can do this in Fantastico. All right, we're going to go inside of Fantastico. We're going to find WordPress. And what we're going to do is we're going to build we're going to build WordPress we're going to build WordPress in uh, the directory forward slash mob forward slash blog, right? So that's what we would do. And I'm going to go off screen. I'm going to create a username and password. Right, and so Dave's point is if you just had to do something for a simple review site 
You didn't really need a lot of fancy add-ons. You need to do something fast. Yeah, this would be ideal for that. Right? Because really all you've got to do is just kind of find a block that will fit what you're trying to do. That's exactly, that's exactly the point. Right? And so <clears throat> for some people, right, if, if, you, if, if you have any part of your business where, you do, where you're, you're providing a service or, I mean, look, if you're, if, if you're, if, if you're looking to kind of jumpstart things and, and one, of the, one of the best ways to jumpstart things really is to provide a service. Right, and this is a service that, again, most people um, who who probably need the service would be happy to have you do it, and you want to always do this in a way that, again, isn't isn't going to be onerous on your time. Okay, so we've got our blog here, right? So now, on the one hand, I've got I've got my site at at mob forward slash mob. And I've got my blog at mob forward slash blog, right? And I did all that in WordPress and cPanel, right? So basically, if I really want a blog, I really want to want a want something there. Now I could, again, I could I could build this. I could build my blog pages with MobiRise, right? I could do that. So for example, what I could do is I could build out. Uh, I could just create a page every time I wanted to, right? If I really you know, I really want to do this. Now, it's not as convenient, obviously, as WordPress. Maybe, right? I guess it really depends on how you look at it. Um, I could, I could call this page um, uh, updates, right, or something, or whatever my whatever my blog post was for that day. And then I'm just going to add a block here, right, or add a couple of blocks. So I could theoretically uh, do a do a blog post, and I would just do it here, right? But if you if you want the ease of being able to use WordPress, you can do it just the way that I did. Do just install WordPress to your subdirectory. 